Hello everyone, this is Jonathan Hansen from the tech department and today I'm going to be showing you how to create different Google Meet meetings. Now there's a couple different ways. There's one by going straight through Google Meet itself and it creates a meeting right away that people can join right in. There's another way through Google Calendar or through Outlook that I'll be showing you after that you can schedule ahead of time for for example, three o'clock, but people can still join early. So first things first, let's get started with Google Meet directly. So first you're gonna go to meet.google.com and then you're gonna wanna go down here. You'll see any scheduled meetings from your Google Calendar in here if someone scheduled them with you. So we're gonna click join or start a meeting. So I'm gonna say first meeting and click continue and then as you can see I'm working remotely so I'm not here um, as you should know you can turn on and off your microphone right there turn on and off your camera so we're gonna open that up so this is actually two ways that or really three ways that you can invite people to your meetings through this. So first things first is you can copy this joining info here and then just paste it wherever you want. You can also add people by email. So you can just click on them right there and invite them. You can also do the same thing with inviting people over here. It's the same thing where you can just add people. Another method that's not explicitly shown right here is if someone within our domain, so it has that ending tag of silverfalls.k12.or.us, can go to here g.co forward slash meet forward slash and then your nickname. So first meeting. And as you can see, I'm already in this call. So that's another way where you can give it a little more friendly name instead of the normal one that you can share with people by going down here, which is big, long, ugly one. All right, so there's the first method, which is going directly through Google Meet. The next method is through Google Calendar. Now, if you don't really like the Google ecosystem and rather would do it for Outlook, feel free to jump ahead. But I'm going to show you how to do it in Google Calendar. So in order to do it through Google Calendar, you're going to have to make sure that your personal calendar is selected. Now, you might have other calendars from your Google Classrooms or other things like that, but you have to have your personal calendar added in order to create one. So just keep that as a heads up. So right here, so three o'clock me meeting virtual. All right, so if that box wasn't checked, there wouldn't be an option for conferencing. But because it is, I can go here, add conferencing, and there you go. It has another meeting invite right here. So whoever you invite, they will get this meeting invite in the description and they can join right from there. You can also add something called live stream. So live stream works a bit different with a normal Google Hangouts meeting, everyone's joined into the meeting and they can all talk with each other inside of it. The difference with live stream is people can still connect if you have shared the old meeting link with them. They can join that way and join in the meeting and participate. If you get a live stream one, so if you copy that, or send someone to that page, 
that is actually, well, I haven't created it quite yet. Um, actually, don't send. Okay. So if I want to watch this live stream, so you can actually only view what's going on in this meeting. You can't participate in this meeting. So if I start streaming this, so say there's a bunch of people in here and the meeting's supposed to start at 2.30 and you don't want anyone to see what's going on beforehand, maybe you gotta prep some stuff. Um, you can click start streaming right when you want to. And then this stream will open up in a second. Once it finishes. All right. Let's refresh this. And there you go. So now you can actually see what's going on live in the meeting. But as you can see, it's just like a normal video. You have no way to interact with anyone within the meeting. Okay. So now we'll go to the third and final method which is through your Outlook client. So if you want to live in your Outlook calendar and this is a system that you like, we'll do it this way. So first you're going to want to add the add-in. So you'll want to make sure you're on the Home tab. Get add-in. And then you'll type in Hangouts Meet. There's the Hangouts Meet add-in. Click Add. And there's a short description when you're creating emails or meeting invitations. There's a little button that will pop up and I'll show you that. So if I'm going to create a meeting and we'll do second meeting. And I'll just invite myself. And this is going to be virtual. So in order to add Hangouts Meet, you click here and you click Add a Meeting. And it's that easy. Unfortunately, you cannot create live streams this way. The only way to create live streams is through the Google Calendar. But you can create them um, just normal meetings without live stream through your Outlook client. All right, thank you so much for your time and have a great day.